<clears throat> All right, I'm back. Let's see if you can miraculously put this thing back together somehow. While I'm in here, I just want to make sure there's no other things floating around. Blobs of dust and sand and barnacles and such. <clears throat> fan turns just fine. Shouldn't be anything obstructing it. And I have this guy here. And a little bit of suit. Prior to me doing all of this, I've had this thing running with a vacuum cleaner, <laughs> um, running full blast, sucking on the fan, trying to pull stuff out. So I can imagine I probably got rid of a large amount of yuck to begin with. Maybe that's why I didn't find more. But this could have been accomplished so much easier had they put a little panel down here with maybe four screws to cover this area. I'm asking, is that an impossibility to design something that actual humans can work on when you're done with it? I know these are assembled somewhere in a, the jungles. All right, now. But really, at some point in its life, if it's not thrown away, I think it needs some kind of service or repair. But I know for certain that when it's finished and back together, I'm going to modify it so that it doesn't suck stuff in. And if HP wants to know how I did that, I'll sell them the secret. It won't be cheap though. <laughs> doesn't look like that's on. I don't think it was. Let's see if I can find some smaller than that. There's one right there. Thank God for magnetism. What would we do without it? Ah, it should be an entertaining video. I mean, droning on and on. There, that's one. There's another micro screw. All this on two cups of coffee this morning. I'm amazed that my hands are steady enough. Good French roast, too. That. Now, any other creepy crawlers that I should <sighs> So, no problem. Kind of looks good. No. Anything underneath here that needs any attention. It all looks good. Hmm. Here's our power supply that at some point we're probably going to replace. Because at some point it will probably break off. Okay, so start to reassemble. in place. Get start our little electrical plug-ins here. 
I don't want to do this again, so I'm going to be very careful, make sure that they are all plugged in correctly. Okay. This one, this is together. Start putting that screw. Nope, that's too long. A shot right here. are all little screws, huh? Isn't that amazing? Okay, so let's do that one. Hopefully we won't have too many leftovers. used to be. Probably not all that exciting for the viewers. I think I'm going to start tightening these. I don't think we'll wind up well enough to go around. This guy, whatever it was, speaker, 
where did that go? That was around here somewhere. There was another Dezinta. Ah, yes, over here. Okay, let's get the speaker. There's nothing else underneath here I'm going to worry about. First. It's all hooked. God only knows where that goes. And we'll call this guy. Has to go on next. When is it putting up a fight? Ah, yes. Here we are. The left handed gizzard. Skinny one. Ah, there it is. Ah, ah. Gotcha. have more hands here. No, I, have. I suppose I could put my bowl there, but you know what's going to happen if I do. It's going to get knocked down and all the screws will go on the floor. That's what I would imagine would happen. All right, now we pop this wire back in its little holder where it's supposed to go. This one, still a mystery. It looks like they just had it taped. And maybe one that appears to have just sat there in that channel and have been mask and taped there. So we'll leave it like that. Now I'm going to carefully try to close this up somewhat. hinges and things.
don't recall if they were long ones. I think they were. Let's try that. Once I get a couple screws in, I think life will be oh yeah, much better. <laughs> 